Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 3. Today we are in the 29th episode of this series and we have Atharva here with us who has been recently placed at Baker Hughes as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us, but before we talk to him, let us look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to the CSC and circuit branches were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Atharva and understand his experience interviewing for this company. Hi Atharva, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Um, Thank you so much Ishnu. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. Um so hi guys uh, my name is Athar Salake and currently I am in my final year of BTech in electronics and communication engineering from VIT Vellore um so recently I got placed in Baker Hughes uh, as part of their digital technology intern and it was a super dream internship offer that I received okay. and yeah I love to share my experience with you guys now. that's really great thank you so much uh you cannot tell us about the placement process like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of oh uh, yeah sure so the interview process of baker hughes was pretty different as compared to other companies you know because baker hughes was probably 20th company that i sat for so i had seen a lot of uh, no processes before that right. so coming to baker hughes the first round was that of a digital interview so in total there were five rounds Okay, so in total there were five rounds, and uh, okay, so before all of this, I'll just talk about the eligibility criteria because I think that's important as well. Sure. Um. So um. Okay, so talking about uh, the process for Baker Hughes, firstly the eligibility criteria in VIT was nine CGPA. There was that was the cutoff. So a total of about three hundred students across all four campuses were shortlisted. Okay. And following that, there were five rounds that followed. So the first round. was that of a digital interview okay so this was an ai based round in which uh, we had to record our answers there were a total of five questions and it was mostly you know managerial hr type questions okay um, i remember one of the questions was uh, a project that i had worked on and what were the challenges i faced in that and how i overcame it okay. so you know this sort of a thing it was just to gauge you know what kind of work you have done and just to understand your personality that's right. what i thought of it okay so uh, from that round around i think 50 people were eliminated so then we were down to 250 people hmm. so hmm. then the second round of course was your technical test right. uh, this round was online and it consisted of mcqs only okay and the topics that were asked were obviously all of your dsa hmm. dbms os and computer networking okay So all of these four core subjects were asked. Uh, mm. There were a few pseudo codes. You had to uh, a few SQL queries. So it was a good mix of all of that. Okay. And the level of this round, I would say, was medium. Some questions were easy, mm. and some questions were of a medium level. And there was different marking scheme for each of them. Okay. Uh, there was an equal weightage for all. Hmm. So that's that. And uh, so yeah, I think as long as your basics were strong and You've done your DSA. I think you would have cleared that. Okay. So, moving ahead, from I think two fifty, a hundred and eight were shortlisted for the interview process. Okay. Which was held just two days later. Yes, yes. So now we've completed two rounds, hmm. and the third round is that of your general discussion. That is your GD. So, the GD also was conducted online, and uh, we were divided into panels of ten, and for each panel there were two moderators. Hmm. So the topics varied for each panel, but they were mostly related to what the company does, which is in the energy space. So for me, the topic was uh, moving away from internal combustion engines towards uh, renewable energy. Okay. Uh, you know, electric vehicles and all of that. Hmm. And what is the future of public transport? Hmm. So that was the topic for my GD. Okay. And yeah, everybody was allowed to put their point forward, and it went on for around twenty minutes. Okay. and yeah so about the gd i just like to say ki you know don't repeat the same point which mm. others are saying mm. you know have new points because what i saw in my gd was that you know people were constantly talking about climate change you know caused by 
you know all all the pollution caused by petrol and diesel engines and you know they're talking about environment mostly and people were repeating that point in all of their arguments hmm. so i think you've got to be new because even the moderators are there to see if you're listening to others so if you're listening to others that means that you've already heard the point so you shouldn't right. repeat it again right so that is an advice i'll give you for that hmm. uh from the gd i think one hour after the gd i got a mail saying that my technical round was scheduled on the same day hmm. so uh yeah that's one thing so you know you don't really have a lot of time so make sure you're prepared in advance sure. so yeah uh talking about the technical round now there were two interviewers hmm. and it lasted for about one to one and a half hours for me okay. i think about one hour 15 minutes to be precise hmm. and this was mostly a resume based round where initially they uh, looked at my resume and they asked me firstly they started off with my projects and so basically i have two ieee publications hmm. and uh, so they started asking me about that one of them was in matlab so you know th- there were questions from matlab and you know how i had worked on the project what was the innovative component there hmm. so they wanted to know about all of that and from projects then they went on to your core skills uh, so dsa is a strong hold for me hmm. and uh, they then started off with a few theory questions you know about time and space complexity and all hmm. of that hmm. from there on it moved on to uh, proper data structures but okay. then they asked me to name my favorite data structure and why hmm. so uh, i responded with linked list because it's pretty proficient in it hmm. and uh, so they followed with a few live coding questions where they asked me to code a few questions on linkedin they were mostly uh, easy to medium lead code level questions no nothing complicated one of the questions was uh, finding a cycle in a linked list okay you know hmm. sorting a linked list you know that sort of stuff so i think if you've done your dsa well it shouldn't be an issue at all right basically moved on to dbms mm-hmm. wherein it started off with a few theory questions about uh, asset properties right. and normalization and all of that hmm. post that uh, on my resume it's written that a program proficient in mysql okay. so they proceeded to ask questions about that okay and after a few theory questions there as well uh, they then came to the querying part of it huh. so i was asked to pull up notepad and uh, they asked me a few yeah. statements to ask me to code a few statements of okay. sql hmm. and these were mainly on joins in a join left join right join and then what they did was they just tweaked the data a little bit and asked me then what will be the output and all of that to see if i actually understand the concepts so it was that and uh, yeah that was about sql from there then uh, again what proceeded was a few questions on operating systems so basically whatever you have in your resume they covered all of that a little right. little by little hmm. they didn't leave out anything they just hmm. wanted to see that whatever you've written in your resume you were actually aware of it okay hmm yeah uh, so after os it was then about uh, web development because i do a little bit of web development and in react js mainly okay. so they asked they didn't ask me about react but they asked me javascript questions um i remember they asked me about what is a callback function what is the difference between a double equal to and a triple equal to and hmm. you know that sort of theoretical questions from there they asked me some about css as well you know z index and all that sort of stuff right so out of all of this i i do remember that i was not able to fully answer a couple of questions on uh, javascript hmm. and but they were really really friendly the interviewers hmm. and you know even though i wasn't able to answer them and i thought like i might have messed that up hmm. but they really reassured me and uh, just told me to read up on it right and and not, so that was that was nice that really boosted my confidence i feel hmm. so after all of this then uh, we moved on to extra curriculars so basically i am in in the drone team of vit velo hmm. so that was something that they wanted to know more about and i explained about you know the technicalities about it hmm. and because it's a technical role that i have there right so what work i have done what competitions i had been to hmm. and what was my role in that so all of that he spoke about hmm. and towards the end of this technical round they also got into a bit of a managerial bit hmm. there were a few managerial questions as well um 
one of the questions i remember was let's say i'm currently in a particular role hmm. and that role has really good prospects for the future hmm. and you know that you're going to do well in that role hmm. on the other hand there's a role which you're really passionate about but you haven't really done any work but you like that subject or hmm. you like that core area hmm. so which one would you choose you know just to get into my mind understand what is my interest so they yeah. asked a few sort of these sort of questions hmm. and yeah so then all of this uh, ran for about 1 hour 15 minutes and that was it for the technical round right okay and i was then waiting and probably within half an hour i got the call for the final round hmm. which is your leadership round okay so the leadership round was um the final round and it was won with the senior manager of the company hmm uh, so this round of mine lasted for about 40 minutes i could say yeah about 40 minutes hmm. and i was expecting it to be uh, technical but it turned out to be you know more of a non tech thing and uh, initially the interviewer you know introduced himself and told me a little bit more about the role and how this digital tech intern role is at baker hughes and how this right. program works mm-hmm. so after you know he gave me a thorough understanding of all of that he then proceeded with the usual questions about uh, i gave my introduction i explained to him about my projects as well once again mm. um because he is a senior manager i would suggest that uh, you explain in more details and in more technical terms mm. just to show that you know you're actually aware of what you've done in the projects mm. because generally i know that people tend to be a little vague and that can even be distracting for the interviewer you know it it won't catch their attention right so uh and from there on it was purely managerial uh there were some very interesting questions i was asked about my opinion on artificial intelligence and generative ai mm. and what do i think about it will it replace us will it take away our jobs or will it just assist mm. us mm. so you know they wanted to know my opinions about that uh another very interesting question i remember was uh so the interviewer asked me to in ask me three words in which my friends would define me mm. and three words in which my professors would define me hmm. and three words in which i would define myself to a complete stranger okay hmm so i thought that was a question which i never came across earlier yeah. and it was quite nice hmm so in that moment you got to think and you got to apply and you got to answer hmm so that's where you know your skills come to the fore and uh finally uh, in the end i asked him questions about a little bit more about the role and maybe in the de- in depth and then basics about location and all of that hmm so that lasted for 40 minutes i would say that this was more of a fruitful discussion hmm. that we had rather than an interview right because you know you even had the interview explaining everything to me and on the other hand it was even me who was telling him everything so hmm. it was it was very comfortable right hmm so that was the final round and just i think 2 hours after this round uh, i got a call that i had been selected okay and uh, talking about the metrics about it so 108 people went into the group discussion hmm. and from the group discussion from what i knew was that from each panel of 10 only 3 to 4 were selected for the technical round hmm. so what that means is that your group discussion was the most important Uh, around here hmm. because maximum elimination happened over there okay and i'd like to bring this here that that was a non tech round hmm so you know you got to be really good with your speaking your personality hmm. so that was that really mattered and after the technical round i think in the final leadership interview round there were about uh, 20 25 people odd that went to the leadership round hmm. and from that six were selected okay 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 that's really great congratulations again and um do you have anything that you want to share like any suggestions for your juniors or anything in general that you learned from your experience um so yeah there are a few things that i'd like to share hmm. firstly in general about placements i'd like to share that uh, be patient you know and uh, if if an opportunity comes by then just take grab it with both hands don't waste it but at the same time 
don't be too disappointed as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. because there are a lot of opportunities out there and you know your time will come because all you need see what happened for me was the gd the technical round and the leadership it all happened in one day mm-hmm. so you know you had to be prepared in advance you had to be really good with all three rounds and it was back to back so that would also take a lot from you a lot of effort from you hmm. so you know it's not like after one round you get a few days to prepare for the next so it's nothing of that right. sort hmm. so you know be prepared in advance don't leave anything for the end just you know one day before your interview schedule just go through just revise and just take up hmm. that's that's one thing i'd like to say and yeah about uh, the interviews look i think as calm as you can be in the interviews it will work in your favor right. uh, don't get nervous hmm. you know look at it more of as a discussion rather than an interview hmm. because even the interviews that all of them that i encountered they were really friendly and you know at every step they reassured me so right. you know that boosted my confidence and kept my confidence levels pretty high all throughout hmm. so yeah because what happens is when you are confident enough even your mind works faster and as i said there were some really good managerial questions towards the end hmm. so you will be able to answer them better right okay so yeah okay that's really great thank you again for sharing your experience and for your suggestions i'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank you yeah it's my pleasure shishno thank you so much thank you say thank you for watching all my videos and giving me so much support so i hope uh, these videos are really helpful if you have any suggestions or any comments please do comment or reach out to me on linkedin or instagram or wherever you want okay and let me know i'll try to implement any anything that you suggest apart from that i would surely suggest that you share my videos and subscribe to my channel while you're watching and stay tuned because i'm going to upload so many more interview experiences in the coming days so because it's still the placement season for the next couple of months at least so for the next couple of months you'll be getting continuous videos so please do subscribe and stay tuned and thank you all for watching